is home for us. Serving Metro Detroit for over 75 years on 97.1, the ticket. Oh, it is Tuesday. It is 5 o'clock. That means T.J. Lang joins us in studio. I'm glad you're in one piece after that. Uh, that was a street fight. I'm hanging in there. Uh, T.J., that was bad. <laughs> it, those division games are always tough. I mean, they always have been. Up front, that, that just looked like West Side Story. Yeah, I mean, Minnesota's D-line is, uh, you know, one of the best, I, I feel like, in the league, especially against the run. It's uh, tough tough guys to move up there up front, but that's just how the division game goes, man. I mean, it, it's you play each other so often, you know each other so well, you know the scheme so well, you're not going to really trick anybody. It just comes out to it comes down to brute force and just physicality to get the job done. Man. So let me, let me do tough. this. This is something we've talked about today. I want your opinion on it. It's not. I'm not trying to get you in trouble. It's just a question. So Sully's all into power rankings. You you know what he's into, mm-hmm. right? NFL.com comes out today, and they got you guys at number two in the league behind the Kansas City Chiefs. Do, now, now hold on now. Let's be fair. I have said I think you guys are going to win the North. I think that this is a different team. You're capable of winning multiple ways, and it, like, I've laid it all out. Do you believe you're one of the best teams in the league right now? Um. After four weeks, I think uh, that's it. That's all know, we can go on. Well, yeah, I think you know we obviously you should be four now. Well, we're yeah, a couple inches away, but you know I'm not. I, I mean, I don't know, Mike. I'm not going to sit here and say we're <laughs> you know, on. one of the best. I think we obviously sitting where we're at right now, um, happy with it. You know, I think. But in that locker room, it, you know, the thing that people don't understand. I mean, nobody was really behind us to start the season. Nobody was really with us. I mean, we've been Guilty. underdogs in just about every single game we played. And, um, you know, we, we don't hear that in the locker room, though. We we don't really care. I mean, we go in yesterday after a tough win on the on the road division game, and, and we're talking about the corrections we need to make, how, how we need to play better, because you're not going to win a lot of games in the NFL scoring only 14 points. So we got a lot, of, a lot of corrections, but that's a good part about this football team, man. Nobody's sitting there saying, man, we're three and one, puffing our chest out. I mean, we're, yeah, we're happy with what we've done so far, but we know we've got a lot of work to do. We've got to continue to get better or else, um, you know, we could could slide back down. So we got to just get, keep improving on the things we're doing well, and, and we definitely have a lot to, a lot to keep, uh, you know, a lot to fix. So Boy, called, I'll tell you, Sully, Caldwell has gotten to him. I'll tell you what. No, Mike, that's, that's how I always am. I, I never <laughs> get too high, report. never get too low. You know, I think, yeah, we're coming off of a uh, – you know, a, a good win, good team win on the road against a, a, a good opponent. And, you know, we're 3-1. and one. It is what it is. But and you killed a lot of football back. left. You did it again. You ruined Arizona's season. Now you ruined Minnesota's. All yeah, you guys was... do, you're the Grim Reaper of death. You Ugh. just show up and kill running backs. Just one game at a time. One, one week at a time. One day at a time. One second oh, at a time okay. if you want to boil it down. <laughs> Thank you, Sully. <laughs> but just focus on the next practice. No no more, no less. Focus oh on the next God. practice. He's like mini Lombardi. 248-539-9797. If you have a question for TJ on or off the field, fire away. Uh, we'll line those up. Off the field. Well, like, I don't know, personal interests are different things. It can't be all football all the time. Mm-hmm. 17 straight weeks, I'm going to lose my mind. Yeah, we do have 55 minutes left. So. Right, no, I'm just <laughs> saying. T- all right, hold on. Here's a dirty secret, people. TJ gets bored talking football. We're going to talk about a lot. As long as they keep winning, it's a pretty easy conversation. If they start losing and falling all over their face, well, then it gets a little more fun. The point is. For you. Well, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's self-preservation. But, no, the one thing we are discussing outside of football, Sully talked an unbelievable amount of smack before you arrived. He always does these eating challenges, right? He thinks he can take you on with this cider donut challenge. Now, I said it. Cider donuts, I think they're gross. They're overrated. Really? I don't like them, and I don't get Not even when they're fresh? When they're fresh is the only time they're palatable. But the you problem still don't is, like them. no, because you got to oh. go to the boonies, the middle of nowhere That's to go true. get them. There's one right down the road in Franklin. That's the, the where? <laughs> <That's> not that <laughs> far. All right, listen. I, I mean, you got to go like to Owasso to go no, get them. Get out of here. The point is, you pair them with that awful. It looks like river water. That that cider. It's cloudy uh, and muddy. You're losing me. I'm okay. having a nice glass right now. All right, so you like that stuff? I love it. Yeah. Are you now it's seasonal? Here's I mean, the I don't question. Round. While we get the people involved, and we'll get more to football stuff in a minute. But what happens if you do this challenge? Do they do weigh-ins for vets? Oh, yeah. We all have weigh-ins. You have a yeah. weigh-in? Yeah. Yeah, everybody does. What? I mean, it's. I think every single team in the league. How strict? Um, I mean, it's not. Line. You don't have to be 
down to the ounce, but you know, within a four, five, six pound range. Yeah, which 30, I think 30 is 35 reasonable. donuts aren't going to show he up. Can't do, yeah, then he <clears throat> can't do it. Hold on then. So, what happens if we do this like next week before the Saints game? Oof, I don't know. It's a dome game. It's hot. I can't be heavy playing those games. What if we do it during the bye week? It's perfect. We could do bye week. I don't know if we're doing a show that week, but I'll come in and do an eating I'll do it with it. No, no, we can do it. Wait, you'll do the donut challenge? Oh, hell no. Absolutely not. Oh, man. No, teach. I just don't like them. I mean, I think I put donuts in this body. Yeah, actually, I do. (laughs) Yeah, you're right. (laughs) No, So, so, Sully, in all seriousness, he will do it. We'll do it the bye week. Are you in for this? Because I remember the last time what happened. You were on the sidewalk staring at your crotch. And you remember what else happened? I won. Who was your competition? Uh, it was poor Hatchet, whose health is failing. Oh, my. Come if on. TJ, I, if TJ's down, I'd be happy to, uh, to challenge him. Hatchet's a buck sure. 20. That's not fair. Yeah, but it's all in the middle. All right. I'm in. All right. So, Let's do it. Now, here's the question. How? And by the way, if you have football or non-football stuff for TJ, whatever, 248-539-9797. But here's the question. Now. How many donuts do I have to supply? Because the last time this happened, I went and I got like 150 of these things, right? I drove to the North Pole. Sully's talking <laughs> how he could eat 60 of them. Hatchet's like, I'll do 90. I think I think Sully won with 14 donuts. I think there, it was like 17, but yeah. Okay, all right, whatever. The, my question is, I mean, what are we going to need to do this and do it correct? A thousand. Probably. <laughs> what do, what well, do you think? he got 17 gonna... last time, he's not getting over 20, so. 50, 75, don't, I don't know, right? <laughs> yeah, DJ, 50. how many do you think you could do? I'm, oh, man. And we will get them here to be as hot as possible. If Sully can do 20, I can easily do 30. My God. (laughs) My God. I'm excited now. Now, now, are we allowing water or are we pairing it with the cider like last time? Oh, cider. He he can set the rules on that one. Mm. You want the water? You want water. Yeah, Yeah, I'd prefer water. water. All right, water it is. But how about this? You can pair it with the water, but there has to be a predetermined amount of cider you have to finish. At some point, like a 16-ounce yeah, glass sure. of cider. Sure. You can start with it. You can finish with it. You can sip on it. You can do whatever you want. But at the end of 45 minutes, that cider's got to be gone. 45 minutes? Yeah. How long to eat the donuts? 45, 45 minutes? 45 minutes. Yeah. Oh, Nothing will be worse do. than that Poonski channel. I do 45. I can do one a minute. What's the bye week? That you, 45? <laughs> one a minute? Right, That's well, not well, that many. Bye, bye week. What is it? You'll the hit 20? a wall, though, eventually. <laughs> what is this? It's going to be uh, what? The That's, 20? Um, Give me two a date. Two weeks. Give me the date that that'll be. I want to. I want to put this in the calendar here. It'd be 22nd. 22nd? Second. Be- between the Saints and Steelers, yeah. 22nd is a Tuesday? Tuesday the 24th. Oh, the 22nd would be the Sunday, oh, so 24th. 24th, my birthday. Wait. And I get to delight in watching both of you puke. This will be great. <laughs> That's my birthday. 97 when the signal is in. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday. Yeah, happy, happy early birthday. That's all I want. I want to see both of you turn blue, OD and on donuts. All right, let's get to some of the people here. Sully, do you have the... the Questions for TJ on the ticket text? Uh, yes. Question number one. How many donuts do you think Aaron Rodgers could eat? Okay. We're not, we're not, we're not doing this. Come on. Rapid fire. Let's sure, go. I, I, right now? No. Uh, yeah, tomorrow. No, absolutely. Um, okay. You asked for off the field questions. TJ, what's the best public golf course in the area? That's from Jeremy. He doesn't golf with the poor. Public. Come on. <laughs> I just joined a club this year. Um, all pros do not golf in North, public. I think Northfield Hills is a really nice course. Next. TJ, do you think the Tigers will get worse or better this season? And will you go to a single game next season? That's from Kirk. That's from for Kirk sure. in West Bloomfield. Uh, I'll go to yeah, I'll go to at least one game for sure. Oof. Good for you. Um, next. I hope they're better. <laughs> what are TJ's thoughts on the color rush jerseys? Ours or just the NFL in general? It doesn't specify, so why don't you answer um, both? I, I don't really care, to be honest with you. Excellent. Next. Rapid fire, <laughs> Sully. Let's go. Question for TJ. Is that Anthony Zettel kid as good as he looks? He's, he's a good player. He's having a breakout year so far. Trivia. Hard worker, too. He's from Michigan. Do you know what town? Oh, it's right up above the thumb somewhere. Ogemaw uh, West Branch. Sorry. Okay. Ogemaw Heights. Next. Yep. Yeah. TJ, TJ, how do you think Greg Robinson responded to the comments made by Everson Griffin of the Vikings? <laughs> I'm I mean, second dick. I don't. Well, no, I mean, I, none of us really made a big deal about the comments. I mean, we just, you know, like I think uh, talked about in the media a little bit last week was a lot of guys try to do that to try to get you out of your game and, and play a little different way. But um, I thought I thought that Greg did all right. TJ, what is the what's the bet? What's on the line for this cider donut challenge? 
We can broker That's that out. You. Let's broker that out. I think Sully has to be installed as probably a 10-to-1 underdog, so the payoff's got to be bigger on your end, but you can embarrass him. All right. Yeah, I'll think of something. What do you need? Would it be throwing him in a garbage can? Would that no, satisfy I don't want to do any physical harm to him. Damn He's it. a twig. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. He's a Next. Former I've, I've already embarrassed him on the golf course before. Oh, okay. Good. Good yeah. Lord. Shoulder don't get and me hip started. surgery. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just messing. Uh, TJ, what is it like to be involved with Pitch Perfect 2? <clears throat> you were in that movie, obviously. Uh, I thought, I mean, it was, it was cool for about a day, uh, but it was brutal, to be honest with you. Four days of filming for two minutes of airtime was. Uh, <laughs> Did you get a Screen Actors Guild card? Uh, no. Damn it. No. It's Not next. even royalties either. TJ, what's your favorite kind of soup? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just do it. Uh, probably cheddar broccoli. Very Wisconsin of you. Next. TJ, are you nervous about doing this challenge during the season? No, not during the bye week. Next. TJ, what was it like playing against the Lions back in Green Bay? Um, I don't know. Another football game. Next. <laughs> See, I'm trying to sort through all the Aaron Rodgers ones here. Oh, God. Oh, uh, how about on. this one? TJ, how do you feel about Eastern Michigan's football program last year and then this year so far? Last year, obviously, a, a big uh, big hurdle they got over going to a bowl game. This year, honestly, a couple plays away from being undefeated. I mean, they took Kentucky down to the wire last week and double overtime Lost to Ohio the week before, so definitely like the way the program's uh, it is, the direction they're headed. It is rivalry week. I think people would like to know this. I know the answer to it, and I, I find it offensive. But it, it, Michigan, Michigan State, which side do you fall on? And then I have a follow-up. Go ahead. Well, you already know the answer. I know the answer. Just question say it. One, Michigan. S exactly. Now, my question. Mm -hmm. You do not have the personality of a Michigan fan. You are a nice, well-adjusted human being. <laughs> Why do you hate Michigan State I so much? I don't hate Michigan do State. Re okay, time out. Time out. I'm not I cheer for their basketball team. I'm not going to siren myself, but you and I have watched games together, and let me tell you something. The things that come out of your mouth I when my like team is losing, Mike, unacceptable. I, I get no bigger thrill than watching you there and how pissed you get watching Michigan State. There it is. That's why I egg you on, man, because I love it. Okay, the phone calls next. We've asked about the NFL.com deal, guys. He won't comment on it. I think we should probably grind him like a pencil a little bit. Hatchet. No hatchet, use. Hatchet, you got to sit down. I'm worried about you. <laughs> his his health is failing. We're going to lose him by six. He's he, he's dizzy. He's lightheaded. I go, David, you got to go to the doctor. Look at him. He's a mess. He's a mess. By the end of the show, you're going to look like James Earl Jones. Go to the doctor. Need to get him some cider. He, no, it's the la Oh, God, David, no. He's drinking it. There he He's goes. He's a mess. <laughs> All right, listen, you got your eye on a new home, but you